everyone loves talking about gear in Epic 7. What stats should I aim for? What sets should I be farming? Why do I keep rolling effect res on my attack sets? But people aren't talking nearly enough about safe gear farming practices. Today, I'm going to show you how to get that sick 12% crit damage gear without becoming a gambling addict in the process. Starting off, we have the arena shop. Honestly, this is the most boring way to get gear possible. It's always kind of good. You always know what substats you're getting. And there's pretty much no way to fuck up buying this gear. If you're like me though, you can spice things up a bit by closing your eyes, clicking a random piece of gear, and hoping to god you don't click on the hit set. Next up, we have a combination of the Labyrinth, Abyss, and Side Story gear. Once again, extremely boring. You're always getting the same substats, and frankly, you're more likely to put yourself to sleep than give yourself a gambling addiction. Honestly, that is my biggest endorsement of these gear sets. I used to have Insomnia, but after grinding the AP shop for this stuff, and using Dizzy Arm and Momo in Guild Wars, I'm completely cured. One of the first bits of advice people gave me when I started was to farm hunts and you'll get good gear. As it turns out, this was also the first lie I was told. Because every now and again, you're going to see a purple 85 drop, and that's going to give you hope for just long enough to get excited before you see it's a hit set. In reality, 90% of gear here is just blue or level 70. But if you want to lower your odds at getting something good even further, you can switch to Azamanic, and now two thirds of your gear is unusable. Or if that wasn't good enough, switch to Golem, and now none of it is usable. Next up, we have gear enhancing. In many ways, this is the most depressing form of gambling in Epic 7, because after getting the good gear you just pulled, you then need to get lucky again in a series of five random stat upgrades. And for every pog you have in gear enhancing, there is going to be at least three Papagas. That being said, there is enough of a kick from these good rolls that happen eventually that some people will be coming back for more and some of these people may be best encapsulated by the term speed rollers. If you don't know what this is, a good sign that you may be one of these people is if you look at this necklace and go, but hey, it could roll speed, right? Another good sign you may be one of these people is if you take this screenshot and send it to one of your friends and go, hey, how do you like my new crowd build? And when they question why it has 12k HB, you go, no, 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 you see, it's a turbo crowd. Next up is the equipment conversion. And honestly, this is kind of lame gambling wise because sure, it's got really good odds at giving you something you want, but it's kind of like playing the lottery with really good odds, but you're 10 and your mum only gives you enough money for two tickets each week. In many ways though, this is still the perfect balance of having good enough odds to actually get excited about it, but still getting let down nonetheless. Now crafting, this is a natural risk, because here you have an okay chance to get something good, and you can roll this a lot. I mean, sure, if you're aiming for specific substats, you're probably going to come out feeling unloved and disappointed. And in that way, it's a lot like the average sexual encounter. You're going to aim for something perfect, but in the end, it's always just in your head. Or it's flat. This is literal gambling. This is, by far, the most dangerous content in Epic 7. It's a good thing I have the willpower 
and mental fortitude to resist the pop of each ding. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be making this video. The chance to get covenant bookmarks to pull your waifu. The 85s with unlimited potential. It could roll speed. In fact, I would say that I can resist just about anything in the secret shop. No temptation is great enough to sway me from my path of going to 99 million or information for money, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Almost nothing in the secret shop is powerful enough to sway me from my goal of reaching 99 million gold. Hey guys, so I'm starting a Patreon. It'd be really cool if you could support me on it. It'd just mean a lot to me. I'd really, I really need this. So I thought the best way to end the video would be how it's supposed to end. With me getting nothing from four Mystic Summons. Okay. This isn't meant, this wasn't in the script. This wasn't, this... That, that's more like it. Yeah, here we go. This is where the script comes in. That's what we like to see. Well, that was utterly underwhelming and probably a pretty good indication of uh, what the next couple months of summoning is going to look like. If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing. I'll be coming out with more of this stuff and have a good day.